So last night I was watching a movie that is based on a book that I have read and loved twice and the movie broke my heart. It really, I loved it so much, so much actually so that I was inspired to do a video about my favorite, favorite book to movie adaptations. I scanned my shelves. I do have quite a few books that are based on, that movies are based on. But I have selected my absolute favorite of those and I hope that this video will inspire you to either read the book or watch the movie because both are amazing in my opinion. So the movie I was watching yesterday is based on this book, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, which is actually a young adult book but such a truly heartwarming story. This one is obviously about a dying girl, but it's also about our main character who is kind of forced into creating this friendship with this girl. And then it's about this protagonist's best friend, Earl. What I love the most about this book is that it has got humor to it. This humor hit me spot on, and it's not very often that I find humor to be enchanting and funny but in this book i did so i was very interested to watch the movie and see if it was able to captivate both the humor but also the heavy subject of this dying girl and it was it was such an impeccable movie i definitely recommend it but do yourself a favor and read the book first and that goes for all of the books i wish that the sun would not be as bright as it is right now but let's just go with it the next book is a book that i read many years ago still alice by lisa genova this is about a woman who is in her 50s and who suffers from alzheimer disease which is normally a disease that hits you when you are a little bit older but not this woman she and her family has to deal with this disease and on top of that, this protagonist was a university professor, so naturally it breaks her heart, it breaks her life spirit that she can no longer do that because she can't remember things. So it's also a book about identity and how you lose that whenever a disease gets the better of you. A very beautiful and very important one, I think. So naturally, I was very curious to watch the movie, especially because it stars Julianne Moore, who is one of my favorite authors, I was about to say, one of my favorite actors. And I loved it. Once again, this movie hit me spot on. I think that it captivates the book beautifully. And basically, the story is the same. It's enchanting, it's eye-opening, and I definitely recommend both the book and the movie. Let's turn to thrillers, because here I have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I love the book. I didn't see the twist coming and it blew me away. So once again, I was interested to see how this twist was portrayed in the movie. And in my humble opinion, it was portrayed really, really well. This story keeps you on the edge of your seat. There is a reason why it's called Thriller of the Year. And it was just a mind blow. I loved it. And I don't normally like thrillers, psychological thrillers, but this one I loved. And the movie was really good as well. I will say that the book was a tiny bit better than the movie, but both were really worth reading and watching. And the sun refuses to go away, which is not normally something I wish for. I promise you, I have missed the sun, but right now, I don't really want to be this bright. Hmm. So the next book is one of the heavier ones because it deals with a topic that is very devastating and that is White Oleander by Janet Fitch. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I have read it twice, I believe, and I have loved it both times. It's one of those books that I was very kind of nervous to watch the movie because I didn't want for the movie to ruin the reading experience for me in any way and it didn't. The movie was impeccable, it was devastating but it was also thought-provoking and it was an eye-opener so I think that it was a success but I do think that the book is even better after all even though once again I recommend both 
just read the book first. Next, we have a complete trilogy, which is actually Scandinavian, but the movies were so incredible that I just had to include them in this video, and that is the Millennium Trilogy by Stieg Larsson, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and all of the others. Now, I do not recommend the American ones, even though I haven't watched those movies. I highly recommend the Swedish ones, the original ones. So if you can get your hands on them, I strongly urge you to do so but let's start with the books what i like about them is that it's crime but it's the best crime i have ever read the first book is about a journalist who is hired to find a person who has been missing for the past 30 years or so the reason why this family member still believes that she is alive is because he continually every year receives a letter from her at least he believes it's a letter from her mind-blowing crime series i cannot recommend it enough i recently reread the first two books and i plan on rereading the last book and maybe watching the movies again next summer then I have Room by Emma Donahue. This is the Danish title, but don't be distracted by that. It is out in English and it's a pretty popular book about this child and his mother who are living in a room. He never goes outside. He doesn't know about the outside world. He doesn't know about other people, other lives, other situations. He's never seen a cow before, for instance. So it's a very restricted form of life and such a good read. I'm not going to spoil it, so I'm not going to tell you anything else. But I loved the book and I was very curious to watch the movie and I think that it was really, really good as well. But once again, I think the book wins. But this isn't a competition. I do recommend both. And the last book I have to show you is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now, I'm one of those few people who loved the movie version with Kira Knightley. I haven't actually watched the series, the TV show with... Colin Firth, even though he is one of my most adored actors out there, I haven't watched it, but I have watched the movie with Keira Knightley and I have loved it. I have watched it multiple times and the book also I have read, I think at least once. I have read it once. The book is really good. If you know it or if you've heard of it, you know what it's about. This doesn't make sense. Basically, what I like about this story is how it plays with love and pride and prejudice basically and the movie is just one of those movies that are great to put on on a rainy afternoon when it's about to get dark and you just need a cozy watch then the book and the movie is excellent for that i hope you enjoyed this video and also as always please let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations as to books and movies that you really loved because I think that a lot of us are reading along and we can all use some more movie recommendations as well as book recommendations. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, happy reading or happy watching a movie.